So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the world card. With this card, if you're traveling during this time period, um, and you're in the market for a relationship, you could have well met someone while you were away, since we're talking about the recent past. This would have been true even if you even if your travel was only locally, not very far away. So you would have needed to not be afraid to mingle and talk to strangers. On the other side, if you have been in a committed long-term relationship for some time, you were probably likely to find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department should have been quite interesting, but in a good way. And that's with the world card and it's paired with the king of wands. Now, the king of wands is an excellent card in the tarot. This card signifies that someone you care about also has protective and caring feelings about you. This person would have been also willing to work hard on the relationship if that was necessary. You may have been more than usually focused on your career at that time, but you made time for romance, or you should have, even if you were single. And if you didn't, you probably would have ended up with work being the only thing in your life at that time. Now, that's the King of Wands and the World card, and those two are in the recent past. Now, let's move on to the present. We have the Seven of Cups. Now, you could have several romantic choices at this time. So be clear and specific about what you want in a relationship. Evaluate your choices carefully. Be honest and as clear as you can be with all people involved, including yourself, and move ahead. Beware of falling in love in a rush. Keep in mind that only happens at the beginning of a relationship. No relationship does no relationship uh, last forever uh, with that rush. What I'm trying to say is in no relationship does that rush ever last. Okay, so keep in mind that good relationships, even soulmate relationships, they'll settle into a less rush-based comfort zone at some point. That does not mean that you have to stay in a rut, though. That's the Seven of Cups. Now, it's paired with a Strength card. Okay, the Strength card. Um, love should be going well. If you're in a relationship, it's going to get stronger. And, um, or, it, or it is strong with the Strength card. And it's mutually supportive and beneficial. If you're looking for someone, this is a much better than average time to meet people. You should be feeling very self-confident with a strength card. So get out, socialize, and mix and mingle. You might be very pleasantly surprised by how things work out. Now, with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Cups, you got to have many romantic choices. You'll be, you be able to pick and choose at this time. Or you already, like I said, or you already have all those options. So just be honest with people, because things can get a little bit shaky when you're uh, involved with more than one. You know what they say sometimes: uh, three's a crowd. But that's okay. This would be your situation. So it's paired with the strength card. So. Uh, with all these options, the strength card is saying it's going pretty well. You're enjoying yourself at this time. Uh, your partners or your partner, they're mutually supportive and beneficial. Okay, so it's not a bad thing. Your confidence is up with the strength card. And you, you're feeling like um, socializing. And if you're not, you should because this will be a great time to meet people. Okay, so that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Empress. Now this is a very, very potent time for love. Very potent time for love. And you could find that men and women, they're suddenly finding you far more attractive for friendship and for love. 
You will want to be careful though how you use this power. Be careful. Don't underestimate it po its potency. If you're single and you're looking, then this is a time when love, true love that is, could very well come your way. In fact, if you're single and not looking, true love may seek you out anyway. It's such a great time for finding. Also, keep in mind, committed relationships with the Empress um, often become sweeter, deeper, and truer. So this is a really good card to have, the Empress. And it's paired with the Five of Wands. Now the Five of Wands, the person you have your eye on may be being pursued by several people. Even so, give it your best shot. You need to know that you have done all that you can for the relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning that you are being pursued or going to be pursued by several interested people romantically. With these two cards paired together, the Empress card, uh, it's a very potent time for love. Men and women, they're drawn to you. They, they think you're all that in a bag of chips, okay? Don't underestimate its potency, okay? And it's paired with the uh, Five of Wands. Um, it's pretty much saying the same thing. You're going to be pursued by several people. So just don't underestimate the potential that you have right now. Um, be careful also of, of um, picking and choosing because you'll have so many options. Yeah. Not a bad thing. I mean, it looks like you had options in the present, too. So, the Five of Wands, uh, and if it's not you that's being pursued by several people, it could be your partner. Uh, and then if this is um, uh, not you in a relationship, it could be a... If, if it's not you in a person, it could be a work situation. Um, it could be if you if you're thinking, wow, that's not me, um, and you're not being pursued like that. It could be a work situation too, something that everyone's fighting for your attention, or something like that. And um, the challenge is, is just don't underestimate the power. Okay, be careful how you use it. All right, and so that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands, if you're single, this can indicate the beginning of a new relationship coming your way. Make yourself available for love. Whether this... Well, make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. If you are already in a relationship, this card tells you that the relationship will undergo a new beginning and it will rise to new levels of understanding. Okay, so not a bad thing either. That's the Ace of Wands and it's paired with the Hermit card. Now the Hermit card, it's possible that the romance or it's possible that a romance from your past will be rekindled. Someone from your past is returning. An ex, possibly. Now, you need to ask yourself, is that what you really want? It seems that a romantic relationship, then it's not a priority for you right now. Uh, yeah, just by looking at the card. You see, he's all dressed in dark. He's got a, uh, his head is just focused downwards. And he's not in the light. He looks like he's looking for downtime. So you looks like you're not really interested in a romantic relationship. It's not a priority for you now. Uh, if your head says that you want nothing more than a ro romantic relationship, just look at your behavior. Look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? In a committed relationship, you might have to be moving in different directions for a while. That's if you're in a relationship. 
So make sure to make time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. With these two cards paired together, the Ace of Wands, it's about a brand new beginning in a relationship or for a relationship that's coming towards you. And being that it's paired with the Hermit card, someone from your past wants to rekindle, get the, get the flames going again. But you're trying to um, decide if that's what you really want. Because right now it seems like you've got maybe some other things on your mind or a, a whole bunch of other stuff on your plate because you have that hermit card. So if you do decide to rekindle with the past, uh, it's gonna be a great new positive beginning um, because you have the Ace of Wands. But that decision is gonna be up to you because like I said, you've got the hermit card and it looks like you're looking for, for a long time. And that's going to be the outcome. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.